Hi, today we'll do an example in Java. Uh, we're going to create a generic class with a type parameter that simulates drawing an item at random out of a box. For example, the box might contain strings representing names on a piece of paper. Uh, then we'll so a box might contain strings representing names written on slips of paper, or the box might contain integers representing the possible numbers for a lottery draw. So we'll include the following methods. Add, so the add method that allows the user to add an object of the specified type to the box. Is empty to determine if the box is empty. Draw item to randomly select an item from the box and return it, as well as eliminating it from the box. If the box is empty, return null. To string to output the current contents of the box. Then we'll create a driver class. We'll create two boxes, one with the names of five people and the other with numbers between one and five that represent seating at a table. We'll use the draw item method to determine which seat a person will occupy. So basically, a generic. We're going to be using a generic class, and I think we're using an array list for these methods. So we'll start in the. I've created two classes already: generic draw and main .java. So we'll start in the generic draw class. So we'll start with. Uh, So we'll import, we're going to be using an array list again. So we'll import java.util.arraylist. And we'll import java.util.random. w.util.random. We could have just used a random, uh, we could have just used the math.random, but I guess when I wrote this code, I used the random class. So. We'll just create a public class. So public class. Public class generic draw. Generic draw of type generic type T. So we'll create a array list, so private array list of type T. We'll call it box. And a private int top. Private int top. Then we'll create the constructor. So public int, no, just public generic draw. Then after that, we will. Uh, set box equal to new array list of type T. So uh, we'll just say box equals new box equals new array list. So box, so private array list of type T box, private in top and public generic draw which is our constructor so I'll just I'll just note that at the top I mean at the in here so I'll just say constructor so here we have box equals so array list of type T box and we'll say box equals new array list of type T and we'll set top we'll instantiate top equal to zero and we'll create the add method so public void add Oops, public void add takes a type T and we'll call it element. 
generic type t element. So remember t is like an int. It could be like a string, it could be anything. When we instantiate it, it's going to become a wrapper class. So not int, so like integer string. So the wrapper class, so it could be like a double with capital D character float, anything like that. So we'll say box.add. So we'll call the ArrayList method here, and we'll add the element that we that take as a parameter that we take as a parameter, and we'll say top plus plus. So this is kind of like the code that we did with the implementing an array stack using an array. So implementing a stack with an array. So how the stack works, we do it in depth. We implement our own collection. We design our own stack. That's how the stacks are made, and we show how each method is made. So this is what we're kind of doing, but it's a little bit different. We're just calling the array list method directly in the method that we want. So it's similar, but not the exact same. But here, then we'll say public void remove, and I'll take a T element. We'll say box.remove. We'll pass in element, and then we'll say top minus minus. Pretty easy to, those two are pretty easy. Then we'll create the public T draw item. So we're going to select an item from the, from like a lottery, kind of, something like that. We're going to draw an item. So we'll create a variable here, t box item. We'll set it equal to null. And then we'll say if box dot is empty. Did we make that method yet? Uh, is empty. No, we didn't, so we'll make that method first. So we'll just comment this one out for a sec. Because our method's going to call a method that we're going to create. So we'll say uh, public int, no, sorry, public boolean is empty. So we'll just call the array list method directly. So if box dot is empty, is dot, no, sorry, is empty. Then we'll say system dot out dot print line box is empty. Then we'll say else. So if it's if the box is not empty, so if the box is not empty, so if the box is empty, then it's empty. But if it's not empty, then it's just not empty, right? So if the box is empty, so if the box is not empty. So uh, if the box is empty, let me just say it again. If the box is empty, then the box is empty. But if it's not empty, then it's not empty, right? So there's only two choices here. So else, then it might, if it's if it is empty, then it's empty. But if it's not, then it's not empty, right? So there's only one more choice. So just we don't need to write else. And then if, like not, box is empty. I think that would probably even throw an error. It might. I'll just try. Yeah, to see, it, it's already wondering like why you're asking that again. It shouldn't do that, but it does, I guess. So we'll just say here, system.out.println box is not empty. Then we'll return false. Sorry, I forgot that. So we'll just say up here return true. So I set it up different this time. I kind of return true or false. You can do that, or you can return box is empty. We, we could have changed this whole thing. I'm pretty sure we could have just said, uh, could commented this all out. 
and we could have just used this one line without the if we could have just said return box is empty so it returns true if box is empty otherwise it returns false so we could even over we can even change it at the end if we remember or we could just type here uh, could have said return box dot is empty I think that would have worked see let's just comment this out to say that to say that right there I think it works there's no error it's really it's easy it's it's easier than saying this right but this way we get a string uh, we maybe could have used a ternary operator but if we're doing that we're it's easier I like just I'd rather just write an if or an else or an else if else if not elif not Python but else if if else if or else those are e the easiest or il, if else if else if else if else if and then else right that's it's easier but again we could have just said this so it's good that we recognize that because you're gonna see a lot of that you're, you're gonna see it just returning box is empty and they never explained what that meant to me so I just picked it up from intuition and kind of looking around so it just means return so it just says just means uh returns true if box is empty that's all it's saying it's, it's like a hidden thing like they, it's like they never they never taught it like it's in my like in the books that I read it's like they didn't explain it they're just like yeah figure it out yourself but I know you're learning it and you have no idea what's going on but we're just gonna put this line here and just just you know have at it give it your best shot it's like it was the worst book it was one of the worst books I've ever read like it was only only some parts of it were good and they didn't explain half of it they just assumed that you knew everything so I wasn't wasn't very happy about that but other than that we'll just go to the next method uh, we'll just say public int get size so public int get size then we'll just return box dot size so there's an array list method I think called we've gone over it before it's it just returns the size of the array list so there it just returns the size right there so then here we'll just we'll just create another one public int get top and we'll just return top then we'll then sorry not return then we'll say uh, public string to string we'll, public string to string and then we'll just return uh, box dot to string so there's probably a built-in method for an array list to return to a to string abstract collection to string returns a string representation of this collection this this the string represents the string representation consists of a list of the collections elements in the order that they are returned by its iterator enclosed in square brackets adjacent elements are separated by the characters quotations comma quotations and then comma and space I'm not sure exactly what that is what that is then we'll say and then it says elements are converted to strings as by string dot value of object so it overrides string in class object sorry it overrides to string in class object so we are overriding to string here and then they over overrid to string again before that so it returns a string representation of this collection so we'll just say returns a string representation of this collection uh it's just it's already overridden and then we're overriding it again but we're passing the overridden version so it's a built-in method it's doing that automatically it's under the java.util dot abstract collection of generic type e public string to string it's been overridden and returns a string representation 
of this collection. So I actually forgot that there was a uh, one that. So remember, we have a method that returns arrays dot two string for arrays. So I'll just put it here that it's like arrays dot two string. But we'll just say uh, but for collections. In this case, array list. So you can have a look at that on the Oracle Docs API. Just look for the array list class or the two string. It should be in there somewhere. So that's it. Basically, we're just creating an array list. And the only hard part is we just tagged on a generic type T to it. So I think I haven't done this for a while, but when, when I did do it, I just played around with it. So I just created an array list private array list box like that then what I did is uh, I, I just put I just put the type T in there so it's, it's all it's really saying is I'll just put one underneath like private array list I'll do it all in one we'll just say if uh, if we want to do two types we can do two types I think we just say T and E uh, then we could say private array list of type E, call it box2 equals new array list. Here, I'll do it without the E first. So private array list box2, uh, I forgot how it is. Private array list of box2 equals to new array list. Uh, right, there's supposed to be an object in there, I think. So, it's a private array list of integer box two equals to new array list of integers, and then like that. I think I for forgot. Private array list integer box. Whoops, box two equals new array list. I think that's correct. I forgot. I'm pretty sure that's just that's just from what I can remember. But all all we're doing is all we're doing here is we're just taking the we're creating our own object which we're, we're basically not stating what it's going to be yet we're basically we can instantiate it later to be integers we can instantiate it to be strings we can instantiate it to be doubles we can instantiate it to be clown objects we can instantiate it to be anything that's all that's all that we're saying so then later this can be an array list of integers, strings, doubles, characters. You don't have to redefine the class and you don't have to keep defining, like you don't have to do this, copy it. You don't have to do it like, whoops. You don't have to do it like 10 times. And then in each one, you don't have to put like string here, string here, whoops, uh, string here. You don't have to do that and like integer here integer here and then I'll just do it backwards double here double here uh, character here I think that's the wrapper class for it, right character and then character here you don't have to do that so you can just create one of type E that's the whole point of generic types so you can just can create one of generic T or generic E and then when you instantiate in main we'll do we'll do it after but you can just say private or uh, array list box and then you can just say whatever you can create it to be whatever you want like you can you can put a string in here on the fly you don't have to keep changing the array list you don't have to define write 10 extra lines and then copy an extra 10 lines on the other in main. You can just do one one here and then you can do as many objects as you want. As many array lists as you want with different objects so it saves you time basically. And all you have to do is add angular brackets with the object that you want. So that, that's, all, that's all that it is. So I'll just copy that out just in case you want to read that or pause it and copy it down, doesn't matter. 
So I'll just take the E out. So that's how you do multiple types. You can just, I think that's how you do it. So you can have different types in there. I did it in the notes. Uh, just look on the, the previous notes on generic types where we talk about the wild cards and stuff. So, so then after that, we'll just go into the main class. So we'll just import java.util dot array list again just in case and then we'll just say public class main we already got this so I'll just uh, I'll just delete it if you didn't look at it just uh, maybe go back pause the video and go back a little bit or to the beginning so we'll just say public class main we'll do the command line public static void main string array args then we'll try creating a try block we'll catch some exceptions at the bottom we could do that later but we'll just do it now so try I'll do it this, this way I guess or does it not it doesn't look that good I'll well, just do it that way. Uh, try. Okay, I'll do it this way then. So try, and then we'll create. So generic draw. So it's a generic type. So when we instantiate it, I guess the strings or integers or whatever are going to go in for t. They're going to substitute it. So we'll say generic draw. We'll just call it box equals noob uh, generic draw. See so if we do it this way, we'll probably get a we'll get an error. So generic draw box equals new generic draw no parameters and it's going to say that we're missing the raw use okay so we created a raw type here so we're not trying to do that so what we're what we're actually trying to do is generic draw of type string objects box equals new generic draw of type string objects with parentheses because we didn't do any parameters so if we did do a parameter we would have put something uh, just we could have said parameter right could have put a parameter or two in there or whatever more then we would have put a parameter in here but we didn't so now that error has gone away We'll call box dot is empty box dot add Bobby box dot add is empty again no, no sorry just box dot is empty box dot add Sally so we'll add we're gonna add objects to the box string objects in this case so box dot add Sandra then box dot add Tim box dot add Kamla Then after we add five people to the box, we'll print the contents of the box to show box. And then we'll create, so we'll, then we'll create a box to have integer objects. So we'll just system.out.println, we'll print uh, box. 
Maybe we didn't have to print line, but that's okay. So we'll say generic draw of type integer now. Box two equals to new generic draw of type integer. I'll say box two dot is empty. Box two dot add uh, one. Box two dot we'll call box two dot is empty again. So generic draw integer box two is empty. Add is empty. Then we'll add box two dot add two box two dot add three box two dot add four box two dot add five then we'll system dot out dot print line box two so we're gonna So now we'll box two dot draw item. Oh no, sorry, just box dot draw item. Do we create that method? Because it's giving an error. Oh, we didn't. Right, we didn't create that method. So we'll go back here. We'll just delete that. So public t draw item. Uh, where were we? So public t draw item, we have t box item equal to null. So if box dot is empty, then system dot out dot print line null. Uh, we can return null. And then else. It was easier when I did this like code when I was trying to think of what to do. For some reason it just all comes together. But when I write it again it's like kind of weird. Like why did I, why am I doing this? I'm trying to wonder, wonder why I'm doing it. But we'll go over it again after. So box item equals box dot get. So what's box item again? Okay so yeah box item is just a just a something of type T, so we don't really know what it is. We'll just say box dot get. So else box dot I okay yeah so this is where we use the math uh, the dot random so we I don't even we didn't end up using the random class I think we use math dot random. So else box item equals to box so the array list box dot get we'll cast it to an int then we'll say okay let's let's cast it in a sec so we'll say math dot random oh, I need a parameter here I mean a parenthesis so max uh, math dot get random times box dot size Missing uh, in here. So, like we said, math dot random times box dot size. So the the size of the box. Uh, the size of the box is box just box of strings. Do we say in here the size of the box one? One, two, three, four, five. Index zero to four. So it's going to return zero to four. No, it's going to return right now. It's going to return zero to four point nine, I think. But we're going to cast it to an int, so it returns just a a whole value. So we'll say cast it to an int. So 
So now I'll return 0 to 4. No. Yeah, 0 to 4 because we want the index. Then we'll system.out.print uh, system line. What's happening with this? Box item. So we'll system.out. Dot print line, then we'll bot we'll print out box item. And we'll remove box item. Then we'll return box item. Save that. <laughs>